Let's write 0 0.15 as a fraction. And the way to think about this is 0 0.15, that's the same as 0 0.15 over 1. It's still 0 0.15, but now we've started to get our fraction here. What would be helpful is if we could get this 0 0.15 to a whole number. And here's how we do it. We have two decimal places, 1, 2. So when we have two decimal places, we're going to multiply by 100. And that's going to get the whole number for us. So 100 times 0 0.15, that gives us 15. So there's our whole number. But 15, that does not equal 0 0.15. So what we've done to the top here, we need to do to the bottom as well. So let's multiply the bottom by 100. 100 times 1, that gives us 100. Think of it this way. 100 over 100, that's the same as just 1. So really, we just multiply this by 1, and that didn't change the actual value, just the way it's written. Now that we have 15 over 100, we can get this down to the lowest simplified form. We could divide the top by 5. 15 divided by 5, that gives us 3. And 100 divided by 5, that gives us 20. So 0 0.15, the decimal, if we write this as a fraction, we could write it as 3 over 20. And we can't reduce this any further. So that's how you convert the decimal 0 0.15 to a fraction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.